Hello everyone, welcome back to Tutorial Let's Play. As you can see in between episodes, I redone the house. Obviously this was our original house right here. This little thing, and then I was like... And then this was the courtyard, and I was like, ah, I need more space. So I built another house that was essentially a parallel, and I'm just like, well, why have the stupid courtyard in the middle? So I made a big roof. And then I was like, TSG, the Sanxi Gamer, why not, YOLO. And I got this random compass thing from the angler that just looks kind of cool. So I put it there. Also, you can see I got the I got the, I did get the uh, the peddler's hat from the traveling merchant. I haven't gotten a cloak yet though, so that's the last thing that we need to complete our outfit. But today, what we're gonna do? Obviously, last time we went to the dungeon, we uh we got a, a bunch of chests from there and all that fun stuff. A whole lot of goodies that I really don't even use because all this stuff is pretty much better. But we did get a shadow key. So first things first, we are gonna go down and we are going to. Uh, open up the shadow chest because I've been doing some work in the uh, underworld and I found two no three shadow chests as you can see right here I also have built these little walls since I did get the mechanics so this is just so that way mobs don't get in here so easily because when when we get in a hard mode it's gonna be a problem if things keep getting into our house and you know it just be a mess so I, I made these little walls there's one on the other side too it's essentially just mirrored I'll bring up the minimap now I just had it min minimized so that you could see the full house and I'm sure we're going to get a bunch of funky lighting things as we go down here, because that's just sometimes what happens. You might be hearing my computer's fan going along right now, chugging away. It's it's trying hard. The uh, the DOS machine, as I call it. it. It struggles to record sometimes, and it doesn't help when it's really hot outside like it is right now. And It's like, oh, uh, it's dying. It's trying, though. It's trying. Oh, yep, there. Uh, maybe we're going to get some of the funny lighting. We have FPS drops. Also another fun thing of moving this fast downwards. And since I do have the uh, the background turned off, we don't get the cool hell background, which is disappointing. But if you want to see it, I'll turn it on real fast. Alright. See, this is it. Obviously, it makes my FPS go down a lot. <laughs> so that's why I don't have it on. But it looks cool. And I really wish I could play with it on. But I can't. At least not whilst recording. This is just the boring old hell background right here, I think. It looks just... It looks so boring. So boring compared to the old one. And then I've been making this this path. If you realize I have holes in it, that's because in expert mode, if you kill lava slimes, lava falls out of them. Like, like I'm here, ready? Look, we'll kill this one. Uh, like, see, look, they literally drop lava. So I have those the holes there to drain the, uh, the lava. Here, I'll bring a, I'll get an imp. I'm not sure when I made the imp staff. It was last episode or when. So, either way, let's continue on. Uh, I, I've also kind of cleared out some of these uh, towers because I don't want to run into them as I'm fighting the wall of flesh. I don't, I don't know. We might fight the wall of flesh this episode. It depends. It depends if I'm feeling extra prepared or not. We do need to put some campfires. Ah, uh, meh. We probably won't even bother putting campfires down here because it doesn't matter that much, really. All, all that matters is the potions and the weapons and the hope that I don't fail. Oh, there's the shadow chest right there. So let's hope that we get the hellwing bow because that's new. No, we got the flower. Oh, a manic flower of fire. That's pretty good. 26 gold. Restoration potions. Those are helpful as well. Oh, demon. Stay away. Might as well pick up the shadow chest. Alright, let's just get our dirt block. Place that back down. Now we got to run all the way back to the other side. So yeah, we have all this. We go all the way. I think there's two of them over here. Yeah, there's one there, and there's one there. So yeah, there's two more. There is actually a chance now to get a Drax in a shadow chest, but the chance is like point oh oh one oh, and I just that just reminded me saying that. I got a slime staff. A slime rain happened, and then I was just like, oh man, I hate these slime rains. You get nothing from them at all. It's just junk. And then I get the slime staff, which has a one in ten thousand chance of dropping. It's it's absolutely terrible, but. <laughs> It's cool just to have, because now I can, I can brag to my friends, I'm like, oh, I got the slime stuff, what'd you get? I'd be like, nothing. I'm like, ha ha ha, take that. Now all we need is the Drax in one of the shadow chests, and life will be complete. Because, like, just just imagine a pre-hard mode Drax. You could, like, just... It, it's pretty much a better sword than most of the pre-hard mode swords are. And then early hard mode, you could just go, and you could just start mining Chlorophyte, like, immediately. Because you need the Drax for that. You could get titanium right off the bat, or I guess adamantite. I kind of hope that I have titanium in this world, because I like titanium better than adamantite. 
But if not, I do always have my farm world, which I'll go to, and I'll see what kind of ores I have there. That is a nice thing about Terraria. You can just make multiple worlds, and in case you don't have something in yours, you can just go to another one and just be like, hey. And one thing I love about these uh, these straight paths down here is the blink root that you get. It functions as like a, a blink root farm. So I already have seven blink root seeds because we just keep running past them. All right, let's see what's in this one. Ah, Flame Lash. Flame Lash is honestly the worst out of all this. Inferno Potion and ign ignites nearby enemies. That might be good. And some Iron Skin. We might actually use the Iron Skin to just get some more Hellstone while we're here. Because I don't think we have enough for the Phoenix Blaster. I'll have to check. And the Phoenix Blaster will do pretty good work against the Wall of Flesh. I almost want to say it's going to be more worthwhile to use the Phoenix Blaster than the Mini Shark. Oh, dang. We don't have an Obsidian Skull on us right now. I can't touch those bricks. Eh. We're just going to grapple along the uh, top here. Just for the lols. Alright, there we go. Ooh, yeah, I just fell. That would have been bad. You have no idea how many times I've been trying to parkour around down here and then just fall right in the lava and die. Alright. Ooh, this door. Alright, there we go. Ow, that's lava. Ow. Derp. I have made derp. Again. For like the 9,000th time. I think it's yeah, right, right down here. Come on, hell wingbow, hell wingbow. Dang it! Another piece of garbage flower of fire. Ah, it is a shame. What am I gonna do now? We got more restoration potions though. Where are my hellfire arrows? Man, we have like 600 of those things. I mean, I guess I could keep going. But, yeah. Is that one right there? It is. I didn't even know that one was there. Oh, sick. Learn something new every day. Alright, allow me to hope that uh, there's something good in this one. I love the Flower of Fire so much. So much. It's by far one of my favorite pre hard mode weapons. I could have just used the door, but I'm just, I was like, no, nope, I'm too lazy to walk down there and use the door. I'll just break a hole in the wall just for the walls. Alright, where's this other one at? Uh, how do I get through here, though? Right. I think it's right over here. Up on the not fun to stand on brick stuff. Eh. Could just drink the obsidian skin. No, we got it. We got a dark lance, which isn't too bad, but I would have preferred a hellwing bow. Because that thing is cool. And I just, alright. Well, I'm gonna keep exploring, seeing if I find any more. I'll be back if I find more. Alright, everybody, I'm just doing a little quick voice over here just to let you know that, uh, this is actually gonna be the end of the episode because I had to go through, like, three more, two more worlds to find a hellwing bow. But I eventually did find one. And uh, next episode, we're going to fight the Wall of Flesh. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.